point, this country runs out of money. You know, it's really nothing but a very, very large corporation, the largest of all. All right. Hello and welcome, peasantry and worker underclass. Watch crack in the 2020 whip to your back. How goes it? Anyway, uh, yay, flappers. Flappers are coming back because the roaring 20s. Anyway, this one is specifically, specifically, and I'm actually going to promote him. For right now, I don't know the guy, but my point was uh, he did some very specific work on Russian Greek, uh, Orthodox, Greek Orthodox, and some of the theology-based stuff, which I'm not so much interested. I'm sorry, man. I ain't a Catholic. I ain't no fucking papist. I ain't no fucking papist. What's wrong with you? That's a joke, by the way. Only slightly. <laughs> I'll literally live in a state full of Freemasons. So, first thing I shouldn't do is run around saying, Hi, I'm a papist. <laughs> That's a joke for you. Anyway, or in black irony, when they find me under the bridge hanging by a noose. Anyway, so. I, Rom, is I read old magazines. I'm sub to him. You can go look at my subs. He's got a set of videos, including uh, Epstein and everything else. And evidently, he's breaking in here uh, to True for Inc. Uh, I'm not saying, I'm not being a sarcastic about him. I'm sarcastically being about True for Inc., the pay to plays. Now, I don't know how much IROM knows, and I assume IROM doesn't know any operators or anything else. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna split this here, so there's no misunderstanding between me and IROM, and I'm gonna send him this video. Okay, uh, there's not a disagreement between what I'm saying with Dyer and the FSB, and what you are saying with Dyer and his family. There's no disagreements. We're filling in the blanks on uh, an asset you don't know about, anything about, which is how an operator works, Iram. This I do in real life, okay? Not for anyone, for myself. That is correct. I actually do this in real life, as some of my videos will show. Okay, so when we're discussing Dyer, and here's the deal, uh, A, I don't think Dyer's funny, B, he's a lazy, soft motherfucker, all right, he's a sponge and a punk and ain't never had a real job day in his fucking life, and uh, he ain't never been in the military, so I'm going to kind of automatically dislike a quack like him that, you know, took daddy's money and hung out of fucking college smoking dope. Don't care for them types. That being said, that doesn't mean I don't like regular people. He's a fucking hack, a no-talent hack. <laughs> I can tell you that. Ask me how I know. So, there's no disagreements. And IROM is correct in questioning the information that I presented. Well, I didn't send him my other videos. Or my, yeah, my other video on Dyer. On the Russian part. So, I don't blame him for saying, eh, I ain't too fucking sure. Who the fuck are you, Slappy? Everybody knows Slappy. Everybody loves Slappy. Don't nobody ever say Slappy's name, evidently, except Iram. So, he gets a special video. So, anyway, when it comes to Dyer, I'm going to lay it out for you, at least the history that I know. Now, when it comes to Dean Arnold and him and his family, I don't usually touch that when I do my stuff. You know, personal background. Uh, not something like, hey, Jay Dyer went to Mar St. Mary's or something. That's public stuff. But when it gets into family, like, well, his dad's name was James. He was born and da, da, da. I don't do that. That's a weakness on my part. Trust me. <laughs> and the old, old Anon would laugh at me. Old fags would laugh at me and go, well, this motherfucker's no good at skip tracing. I am, but I'm, I don't do that. All right, because I don't. I'm old school where you don't go after women and kids and you don't go after somebody's family. And that includes generally information. 
because there was a, a bunch of arguments years ago about well uh who the fuck was it uh the con man is it Schiff Peter Schiff and all uh, oh, his whole fucking family are scumbags and it's like listen I'm not gonna blame him for that shit their shit when he does it which is all he does that's all he does is a fucking con man Peter Schiff. When he does it, he's the fucking con man. Go after him. All right, but don't attaint uh, him by blood. You know, I'm not saying it ain't there. <laughs> you know, the apple don't fall. There are some truisms in it. That's why I love the Bible. You know, birds of a feather. You know, apple don't fall far. Shit along those lines. And that's true. Environment, environmental, uh, social engineering, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So my point with Dyer is I, I did not go into his family. So I did not know about Dean Arnold. But if you combine the people he's running with, your birds of a feather flock together, Iram, and guess who they're deeply tied with? Russian intelligence. I know this as a fact, not as a guess, because Anon and some of the Chan guys have already went through this. Including me. All right. So, here's how it goes. Dyer magically shows up one day, okay, with Sean Stone running the Trooper Inc. pay-to-play con conference circuit. All of a sudden, Dyer is promoted as an authority. Nobody had ever heard of him. And it's a classic fucking infiltration scam. So fucking David Duke Cointel Pro. You see this shit all the time. And FBI going, uh, showing up to join the Klan. <laughs> you know, shit like that. <laughs> Even though the FBI runs the Klan. That's not my point. You know, uh, here's a biker. You know, it's like, nope, that guy's FBI. We already know. You can see it. <laughs> you can see the fucking guy's FBI. Anyway, my point is, so Dyer just shows up. Everyone I know says, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this guy? What the fuck is this? The second thing they say is, what the fuck is Sean Stone doing over here? <laughs> his dad is Oliver Stone, who makes fucking movies. Why is his kid over here? All right. Now, this is a patience and waiting game. Not because... Uh, now, remember, I'm not doing the family stuff. So this is a patience and waiting game. All right. To see where they go and what they do. Now, you kind of know what they're going to do, and you kind of know who they're working for. Vaguely, as in someone somewhere. Now, when I say FSB grew... That doesn't mean they don't work with Mossad. They work, I guarantee you, uh, Sean Stone talks to the CIA, FBI. I mean, he talks to all kinds of people. He works directly with Russia today. So does Jay Dyer, who has been on Russia today. You, 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 Iram, do not get to go on Russia today. You will not go on Russia today. I guarantee you, you walk up and say, hey, I want to go on Russia today. They're going to look through your shit and go, uh-uh, no, you ain't one of us. I, I know how this game works. There ain't no fucking confusion here. <laughs> there ain't. It, it, there's going to be comments on this video. Look underneath this video, Irom, and watch these comments. All right? Ain't going to be no fucking dire in my comments. He's a fucking punk like fucking Mark Scholdice and these other fucking uh, wannabe assets. All right? So when it comes to Dyer, he's running the fucking pay-to-play trooper circuit, like the quacks, everybody, fucking Jeff Rince and all these other guys. You know, that doesn't mean I don't like Sean Stone. Meaning, hey, he does this deal about aliens and stuff. Yeah, I know it's horse shit, man. I know he works for the goddamn Russians. That don't mean I don't like it. <laughs> I can enjoy it and go, ah, oh, he's a fucking quack, but I still like him because, you know, he's actually pretty funny. Cause, anyway, so... Skip on down through here. I ain't got a problem with the Russians with the exception to a couple of things. They don't get to come in my fucking backyard and fuck my people up. They go, they can go hang out in New York and do that shit. Or Miami. You know, y'all go over there and fight with each other, with the Italians and everybody. Y'all motherfuckers go over there. Stay out of my shit. All right? This is my shit. You go elsewhere. So here I am doing my shit, and here along, here comes Dyer, and as you will see in the comment section, there's going to be people commenting, gee, do you remember when Dyer started borrowing Captain Slappy shit? I sure fucking do remember that, and I'll bet you a couple of them underneath here will tell you. 
Now, I know who I am and what I can swing out here. So when somebody like Dyer or Dyer or a fucking idiot like Jordan Maxwell, a fucking convicted con man, comes through and does their shit, I already know what they're doing. They're trying to, what, jip my fucking audience. Use a, a slick-ass shit version. A generic shit version. Like a Chinese-made fucking uh, widget of my American-made badass slappy machine. You know what I mean? They're trying to knock off my cogs. So I'm my cog production. <laughs> Not cog production, but cog sales. <laughs> Not cog sales, but you get the point. They're like Owen Benjamin. A fucking moron. A no-talent fucking hack like Fuentes. A fucking Ferengi Fuentes. All right, now, I got, a, I got a question for you. Jay Dyer is hanging out with Sean Stone. Sean Stone's a Freemason. He's Scottish right. Go fucking ask him. I did. He's not going to lie to you. That's why I like Sean Stone. All right, now, I am not confused about this, and neither is Sean Stone. That's how I fucking know. <laughs> All right. So... Jay Dyer's running with him, running the pay-to-play circuit. Suddenly, hell, he's been on Alex Jones. Is that not enough, big enough? Is that not a huge fucking red flag? Alex Stratford, I, and also, I go hang out with Mossad and FSB at Russia today. Now, you're going to say, well, I need more than that. When did you ever see Dyer hang out with the, oh, hold on. When do you know any actual American that's not an asset of someone? on Russia today. Do you know how many people I know that are excellent at this fucking job? This work, not job, but this work. They don't get asked to be out there. They don't get to go hang out at Gaia at a studio in LA where they remote shoot that a Russian oligarch funds. <laughs> Come on, Iram. It's not hard. So that Dyer's been on Jones. Nobody goes on Jones unless they're a fucking asset. I know you know that. Or a rube. I mean, an actual fucking moron. I know you know that. Don't know. There's no. Uh, Jones has no credibility. Did you miss the part where he did the uh, the uh, depositions? Some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Where he said, huh, I've got all these NDAs. I can't talk about that. I'm not going to answer that. NDAs with who? I wrong. Exactly. Now, do you think Kroll, Kroll, one of the world's largest independent contractors with intelligence agencies who works directly with Mossad, who Owen Benjamin hangs out with the son of? Uh, how many times did you hang out with the son of Kroll or the son of Mossad, I wrong. I'm not a fucking idiot, so help me out here. So Jay Dyer is hanging out with the kid of Oliver Stone who hangs out with Putin doing interviews. I got a question, Ira. How many times have you been invited to interview Putin, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, a mobster motherfucker who is awesome, by the way, very awesome. I am not going to cuss him in that respect. He won't hesitate to whack a fucking kneecap or a head or a... I don't like the poisoning thing. You shouldn't do that to people. <laughs> you're just going to do it, just roll over there and just pop, pop. You know, do it, do it like a North Korean. <laughs> right in front of everybody in the airport. Pop, pop. Fuck you. I'm, you know who I am. Pop, pop. So, I'm going to give you just a moment. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. I want you to think about that one night wrong. I'm not being an asshole, but I kind of am being an asshole. Not to you, just about the situation in general. Uh, sarcasm. as Unironically, ironic. Black irony. Mm. Ah, what's some good copy? What conclusion did you come to on J. Dyer, Iram, in those 10 seconds? My conclusion from the first 10 minutes when I first saw him <laughs> was really easily done. Now, you'll tell me, but Slappy, I mean, do people ask you about conspiracies all the time? That's right, Aram. How many people do you know that don't have a real job? Just hang out on the internet all day and then go hang out with other conspiracy theorists, paid conspiracy theorists that work for government agencies? Like David Duke, 
You know the FBI thing? Come on. Operation White Heat. Those are all real. I already put all that stuff up. I don't blame the FBI for doing it. The problem is they get innocent people killed. They don't get David Duke killed. And David Duke is a piece of shit. So you don't think it's odd. It's kind of obvious. Nobody I know where I live ever, Iron, goes and hangs out at a uh, San Antonio Truther conference. They don't go to a flat earth conference Iram. zero people I know does anybody you know go no you'll hear them talk about it on the internet but when the chips are down they're not going to go so isn't it kind of weird that it's kind of like the same thing with the clan isn't it the old COINTEL operations isn't it a dyer just shows up and he shows up at your house. He was just talking some shit to a couple guys. He said, hey, man, let's uh, take this show on the road. Let's go around the country. You know, we'll meet people. And, oh, look, sovereign citizens. Yeah, come on in, man. Hey, Freeman on the land, come on in. Really? I got to see all that. I got to be a part of all that. It, look under the comment sections of these. I've already been here and done this 10 years, dude. Look underneath. And it means presenting my bona fides. <laughs> That's what credibility is. I've got street cred all over the fucking place. I've got my videos. Assuming most of them are still up. I don't know. I don't ever go to check. Once in a while, somebody tells me. So Dyer's doing all that. Then he's working in L.A. in a fucking remote location. Uh, if not over in Russia. I can't verify that he ever went. It doesn't matter to me because it's already proven. I don't need... 55 times of proof. Just like a fucking cop, I only need probable cause. But I'm not a cop. I mean, it's not hard to figure out. It's common sense. These motherfuckers gaslight and bring doubt into the game. That's how they slide by. Dyer's a fucking literal who, no talent hack that should never have gotten more than 200 views. That's that's. There's tons of people out here that do way better work than him, and they don't get shit. How the fuck did he do that? How the fuck did Mark Dice, a literal who nobody, that was uh, did a little work with civil affairs along with Adam Kokesh who hung out with Russians at Russia Today? How, how did they do that, Iram? Is it magic? Is it a series of unconnected coincidences? Now, you're right. Conspiracy theories get a little too far. Well... I dare you to tell me that after I did all my work sitting inside of a network of 300 dope heads in a four-state dope ring operation about how fucking magic it is about unconnected coincidences. It ain't, son, unconnected nor a coinky-dink. Straight fucking up. I've, I've had to go ask DEA, FBI, shit like this. I went and asked real humans that work for them people, how the fuck? Nope, they already know. They ain't confused. If they come out here and they see Owen Benjamin with his fucking hoodow eyes on meth, you see me, he's a motherfucker's on meth. Ain't no confusion. Ain't no, oh, I'm on Adderall. No, you ain't on Adderall, motherfucker. You're using meth. And when you're drunk and ranting and beating your fucking dog where everybody can see it, guess what? You're drunk, you're ranting, and you're beating on your fucking dog. <laughs> don't it's not none of this shit is confusing the theology can be confusing when it's a fight about theology i don't do that i do how the street level works that's why dyer and them don't fuck with me dude but that's exactly why i fuck with dyer and them because i know what they are not only is dyer paid by someone a russian oligarch for absolutely certain because he did the many documentaries for Gaia. Who owns Gaia and who writes the paychecks, Iram? And I'm not being a dickhead to you. You presented yours, I'm presenting mine. Who writes them fucking checks? I know it's that Russian oligarch guy. I can't even pronounce his fucking name. I know that. So, him, Sean Stone, the Scottish Rite fucking Freemason, dude, who hangs out, who, uh, Oh, 
you can ask the other guys underneath if you want. Uh, there'll be comments on it. Who hung out with all kinds of fucking creepy people everybody in the world knew about. Uh, Freeman Fly, you know, all these guys. Yeah, they already knew. Uh, Red Ice? You mean Lana CIA Lochtef? Red Ice. Right? The uh, motherfuckers are so flaky and obvious, it's painful. <laughs> it's painful. It's like, oh my God, really? Who falls for that shit? You know? Anyway, so. Dyer is doing it. I've already proven it more than enough, and it is public knowledge. And I'll, and I'll, we'll have put it up in this little video somewhere. It's public fucking knowledge. It's not a guess. He is paid by Russians. Now, your question is, or the FSB group. He's on Russia fucking today, which is in part overseen by their, whatever the fucking, the, the deal is, which is part FSB and GRU. It's like saying, okay, Slappy is now on MSNBC, and he hangs out with CIA guys. Or no, let's, well, let's change it. Slappy is in Jerusalem, and he's hanging out with a bunch of Mossad guys on TV, but surely he can't be paid by them. Oh, come the fuck on. <laughs> it's kind of obvious he is. And the last part is the easiest fucking part. How many people do you know one person removed from Vladimir fucking Putin? How many? Their botnet is... Son, their, their hackers and their botnet are still pretty fucking good. I know how Dyer got his views because that's another angle I've worked on for years as well. That's just botnet that keeps Dyer afloat. There's no real humans that give a fuck about it. Dyer couldn't pack a Waffle House. I always use that joke. I can't pack a Waffle House. I know Dyer can't. I've seen him try and hit fail. That's why he don't do it. Yudin Peterstein? I already went through him. That motherfucker couldn't pull nobody. What, a thousand fucking people? This guy's supposed to be world-renowned. Oh, fuck, he can pack Wembley Stadium. All right? Do you know how long... David Icke loves to talk about the Wembley Stadium deal, right? Do you know how long it took him to pack that stadium? He had to have that shit up for a year selling tickets before he could pack that stadium. He ain't no Taylors. He's a nobody. He ain't no fucking Taylor. <laughs> Run DMC could pack a stadium in three days. It'd take David Icke all year, literally. So when it comes to J. Dyer, what the fuck is J. Dyer... He's an operation to waste your time and to cast doubt on basic American establishment stuff. Oh, the deep state. Oh, the... Yeah, just a horse shit. It's a horse shit operation to burn time, make money. That's all he's for. To suck off fringe elements, burn them off so they won't do anything. The reason I don't chase Dyer harder than that is because, A, he's not any good at what he does. He fucks himself. He's so unimportant and no good at this. Just like Owen Benjamin. Owen Benjamin is is now the bar of how to fail that fast. Just like Nick. And Nick Fuentes, Nick, I uh, hang out with Milo, Mossad, Breitbart, you know, Alex Stratford-Jones, right? Richard FSB Spencer. <laughs> right? Come on, man. Come on. How many white power rallies did you go to in Charlottesville? Everybody in the fucking world knew that was full of fucking FBI. Come on. Really? Occupy Wall Street was grassroots. <laughs> Shit. What is it? And it gets me every fucking 10 years they do this, or they could do this shit, and people fall for the same fucking thing over and over. Right? You finally get rid of some of these dumb motherfuckers, and they come back around, somebody else comes back around with the same fucking scam. Uh... Kroll, side Group, you know, and they're getting fucking paid this contract. Hey, man, I know what I'll do. Stratford's known for the shit. They're right there next door to fucking Alex Jones. They're right down the street from Alex Jones. I've already done that. I've already done that video of the fucking building that houses the lawyers and shit. I've already done that. I've already done that. And, you know, they borrowed that work, but they didn't borrow. They didn't want me involved. Man, and I did that video in the same group that ended up uh, uh, getting paid by little Nichols Fuentes. And all of these people are literal who's, but all of these people are part of that machine, son. A lot of little bitty 
sub franchises of that operational machine called whatever COINTELPRO, whatever doesn't matter what the fucking name is and it uh, it rolls up nobody normal deals with it it is specifically designed to suck off time and money of people that's it fear doesn't sell nobody nobody outside my door nobody here in the real world is worried about the world collapsing none zero Nobody's worried about nukes hitting us. Nobody, well, as that, and they don't care because they're hoping New York or L.A. gets hit. Ain't nobody going to nuke us. They're going to nuke them, in which case it's not a loss. <laughs> uh, that is the majority of everybody I know. I, I don't care. You know, and it, of course, people get mad and be like, oh, we're all American. No, motherfucker, you're a Yankee and you're, you're from California. Y'all stay out there. <laughs> eat that nuke leave me alone <laughs> just go the fuck over there you know if north korea wants you i'll sell your fucking whole state to them real quick right that's how we got where we are now might as well keep doing it sell 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 <laughs> all right anyway <clears throat> my point with dyer is dyer's a literal who nobody that's not any good he ended up in the chicken fights because he sucks and the chicken fights are the whatever blood sports it's just a fucking low rent scam for roman arena you're what you were talking about steve and bannon they already did we i found it amusing when you mentioned steve bannon in that way because i did not know that but i know they had already done it online that's why they were going with a. it's cheaper to do it online as a model to front now i could be wrong on this but it's cheaper and easier and faster to run it online and see how it turns out than do it in the real world. Super easy. It's exactly what I would do if I was running an operation. It's exactly what I'd do. I'd come out here and be like, oh, okay, let's see if uh, IROM will go for aliens, chupacabra. Okay, that's not going to work because that's old school stuff and people have moved on from that. Okay, well, let's reboot the ROM Paul shit. Nobody likes ROM Paul. They'd get the dumb motherfucker out of here. You know, all right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, that's not going to work. But my whole point is click, 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 bingo. Just like picking a lock. They'll get, they'll get that angle. Except it's not, a, it's not a house lock, you know, a five tumbler lock. This is at every fucking angle possible. So they're just going to wear it down until they get what they want. And what they want is time and fucking attention. Well, time and attention. Attention is time. Time is money. That's why I like Alan Watt. Now, I don't disagree. Uh, I don't agree with everything on Mr. Watt, but he already knows or whatever. It's just minor shit like Kim Trails. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Well, my point was this. Hey, do you think he's confused? Guess why they don't ask him to go and to go be on anything. Guess why? He's been doing this since the what the fucking old days, the old Cointel Pro days, and uh, not the '60s. I mean the '90s. The uh, shit militia movement, that whole horse shit deal with the FBI, right? Where you create your fake terrorists, your white terrorists, and then you got to clean up, clean up town. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, he's been doing it since. He ain't fucking confused. He ain't. I'm not confused by it. Because I'm going to point out, I know a guy, one guy removed that talked to Timothy fucking McVeigh at the trial down the road. Okay? So I'm going to point out that, yeah, I know what horse shit is. Right? So when it comes to Dyer, look at Dyer. Just look at it with no bullshit eyes. No, no scam shit. Not, I'm a Catholic, I'm a Christian. No, just blow all that shit away and look at him. Look how he works, he t uh, talks, he operates, he moves. He's a fucking punk and he's a sellout. You can see that instantly. Because he's not real world. He doesn't exist in the real world. <laughs> Don't nobody say yes sir, no sir to him. Ain't nobody scared of him. He's never been in a hard, tough part of town. You know, he don't do hand-to-hand -hand combat or any of that shit. So, anyway, that's the new world of your online operators. That's Jay Dyer. Your question is who, well, not your question. 
already know who he is already paid by and has been paid by. In degrees, then you have to ask how many people have paid him, how many agencies, directly and indirectly, because you forget donations online, super chats to launder fucking money, so you'll... Jordan Peterson's prime example to tell you, oh, he's making $30,000 a month. A, no, I don't believe it, but I'll, let me see his bank account. Well, guess what? He never shows you. He'll show you some random fucking screenshot, like Owen oh, Benjamin, oh, I make $3,000, and you look at it and say, what is that word processor you typed that into? That ain't no fucking legit deal. Show me your actual bank account. Ah, shit starts changing then. All right, because they're not worth that much. Owen's not worth that fucking... Owen ain't worth $3,000 a month. Not a fucking week. A month, he ain't worth 3000 He sorely overestimates his fucking shit if he thinks he's worth more than three a month. But when it comes to Uden Peter's time, thank you, whoever the fucking Chan done, did that fucking name. Uden Peter's name. Anyway, uh... What they were talking about was just bullshit about uh, hazy gray funding. I mean, come on, man. You know how the CIA and agencies operate. Do they walk up and hand you a bag of cash in front of everybody that you're fucking over? No. Did they do it with Jay Dyer? No. No, they don't. Does the FBI walk up to you in front of a, a whole bunch of drug dealers saying, Hey, man, I'm going to pay you to be an informant. No, Iram. They sure don't. What makes you think they'll do that out here? I don't know. I've done it enough times on the fucking street that I don't see how people don't realize this. Now, your question is, uh, or not a question. Let me define the boundaries here because you're defining his, the the family part of it, which is important, yes, because Dean Arnold is creepy, or not creepy. I couldn't figure out the angle on him until you said something. Now, it makes total sense. Like with James Perloff. I hate Freemasons, Orthodox. I hate Freemasons. My dad's a Russian Jew. I hate Freemasons. You, you know, and you're just going through all this going, what the fuck? Did you just come off the goddamn... Did, did the FSB come to your house with a script? It's so fucking obvious it hurts. Really? And it's the rise of that. And it's ingenious, Iron. Because you can field a lot of fucking people like that and change the face of the game. Hey, man, why don't you become Orthodox? What the fuck? There ain't nobody Orthodox here. What the fuck are you talking about? Jews? There ain't no fucking Jews here. Well, there's a couple up in Oklahoma City. I don't know any. One. You know? And he hates Israel. I always love telling that fucking story. But anyway, my point was, and I'm supposed to be, what, Orthodox? No, what, for the five guys that are up in Tulsa? No, I don't give a fuck about them. I ain't Orthodox. But it's an, excellent way, it's an excellent way of fronting it as we are one with Russia globalist. It's global religion LLC, man. That's what Dyer is doing. The ultimate goal, but that's not his ultimate goal. His ultimate goal is to be a fat, lazy motherfucker with no real job making bank. Alex Jones, 101. They, they ain't got no grand plans. They're not smart enough to have grand plans. That's why they're fucking patsies. The brains don't fucking use anything but a patsy. Let a fucking patsy do it. Delegation of... That's the old mob way of looking at it, but in a military way, it's delegation of fucking duty to carry out the fucking operation. Just d dire in no way, shape, or form has enough fucking intelligence to run a fucking operation. And nobody cared. Is that not hilarious to you? Because that, me and uh, my guys are laughing at that shit. The Chans love that shit. Dyer, oh, fuck you. You know, J.F. P. the gay French guy that directly got 30 grand from Jeff Epstein. Well, I didn't know who he was or nothing, man. <laughs> Iram, do you think there's something sketchy about a motherfucker got 30 grand from Jeff Epstein? How many people do you know got thirty grand from Jeff Epstein? 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any. So I'm going to point out, boy, is it a honest to God, coinky dink, small fucking world in the conspiracy uh, theorist True for Inc. It's so fucking small. It's almost like it beats numerical possibility to even occur. <laughs> when you were talking about I got to turn on the light because, you know, uh, J and M are the dark and light. So I got to turn on the light. Look at it like this. When I turn on the light, them fucking roaches run, son, and I start stomping. You don't let, you, if you see a roach, you got to go after it because that means how many are in the walls? <laughs> yeah, you know how roaches operate, son. If you see 10, there's 5,000 in the walls. I, I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't know. That is the actual street level nature of this fucking game. All right. The question is, <laughs> I'm like most everybody else, especially some of the Chan guys. Uh, when you come out here at first, it's Babby's first internet conspiracy. And you're like, oh, you know, this guy wouldn't lie to me. No, that guy would lie to you and fuck your mother and then kill your dog and everything. And burn your fucking house down. Sell your kids to some fucking Iraqis. <laughs> Come on, Iram, what the fuck? This ain't about theology, it's about real world. Now, you're right on your theology when you're discussing arguing about it with Dyer. Dyer's a fucking punk. Look at him for what he is. Call him for what he is. It's obvious, I don't think you've ever been in jail or know any prison guards or done any street operations. I'm not being an asshole. What I'm attempting to state is, if you had done that, your outlook on how to argue with Dyer would change, and Dyer would be really scared of you. So would a whole bunch of others. I mean, don't, don't candy coat it. I like the articles, I like the information, and I like the education on aspects I don't know about i ain't got enough time to chase all them fucking europeans dude euro pores i ain't got no fucking time but at the same time are you forgetting the russian and east england uh, east uh eastland company that set russia up that was the british corporations the ostland you got to go back dude and that's only part of it what you're seeing now is orthodox is a restructuring of the communism, which is just a devout atheism, uh, Paris, Scottish Rite Freemasonry, to turn people that were originally busted up into a unified corporation. I had this discussion with one of our Russian friends. The Soviet Union? <laughs> Who the fuck says the Soviet Union when they're supposedly don't have nothing to do with anything Western. I mean, it's all there in front of you, and yes, part of it is Freemasonry, but not all of it is Freemasonry. Natural outgrowth. But not on the street level. The peasants don't give a fuck. They just want something to eat. As far as I can tell, the uh, Hitler was pumped and dumped into power by American and British, which you already know. Along comes Stalin magically at the same time. Oh, shit. Every, oh, it's just a coinky dink. And so everybody got to go into a second world war that happened to do what? What was the end goal? Money? No. Give me that fucking shit. What am I, three years old? No. I've been doing this too long for that shit. Money. Money. Corporation don't need fucking money. It needs control of thought. You control ideas and you control it all, son. Everybody dances your turn. So they went from being independent monarchies to what? I know you know this. What did they go to be in? Corporations. Assets stripped by foreign corporations that restructure the local population in social engineering. A.K.A. Freemasonry 101. Not Scottish Rite. Scottish Rite is the media. Okay? Quite fascinating when you consider that the brother of the man that shot Lincoln was a Freemason that saved his son from dying by a train. Coinky dinks. Now I got a question. How many people do you know saved Lincoln's kid from a train who was also the brother of the guy that killed him? 
Just ask him. <laughs> if you believe that, there, there's no coincidences in that shit. Not in that level, because each level is smaller, and so when you go up there, it's pretty small. And that now, then the argument is, uh, are you going to argue with Dyer to enjoy it, or argue to Dyer to win? And in which case, I'll tell you, why are you arguing with him? You just kick his ass in 30 seconds. Ask me. I know how I did it. Fucking punk. He ran. He don't want none of this. He don't want none of my guys. <laughs> my guys don't fuck around. They're going to go out there and fucking split you in half right in front of everybody. When you're going to talk about gladiators, the arena in that it respects, uh, Dyer's a fucking sophist. He's not an orthodox. He's a fucking sophist. He flapped them fucking gums. Ain't never going to get nothing done. Go flap them fucking gums. I'm going to convert somebody to orthodox. You fucking moron. <laughs> I'm going to convert somebody to being cat. No. Ain't going to do you no good. That ain't what. Really. <laughs> really. That's 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 going to be the fix to it. No. It ain't the fix. It, what it is is a waste of your time. And it was meant to be. In America. The design was very specific. Nothing was supposed to work. That's the point. If it never works, you'll constantly fuck with it. If you're constantly fucking with it, you ain't got time to do nothing else. Except fuck with it. That was That's the point of Russia and orthodoxy. Isn't it, dude? That'd be the same as saying uh, Jesuits in Oklahoma. <laughs> that's the same fucking... That's the point. You think the Jesuits didn't know the Freemasons were here? You think they didn't get along and work together? Sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. Think about it. <clears throat> Rome, home of the original corporations. The Familia, the Collegia corporations. Mackey even covered some of it, and I thought that was quite fascinating. He said, I think we fucked up. Freemasonry should have never went incorporated. <laughs> I was like, what? What are you talking about, Mackey? Well, wow, you hid that one real way down in the back of the end of the book there, dude. Right? Anyway, so what was Russia? Not more Freemasonry operation. It was just restructuring the corporation that killed how many people? Be careful on that. You actually don't know how many people it killed. I love that. Well, it's estimated. Estimated what, motherfucker? Have you counted bodies? No. You know? It just, you got to be careful on this shit. You don't, you, the sales are, it was horrible, it was atrocious. And it's like, well, Freemasons did it, so. And Jews. Oh, and Americans. And Catholics. <laughs> All right. And you go, well, everybody was involved in that one, wasn't they? Yeah, that's what territorial fights are for when it comes to corporations fighting over territory and resources. And they don't want the land. Why would they want the land? They're a corporation that doesn't exist on the books. Just sell the fucking land off and go buy some more. Hell, the land don't go anywhere and it don't move. It's not a loss for them. They don't need to own that. They need you to think they do. Is that's what the fuck this is about. So when Dyer is trying to sell theology of orthodoxy and all this other shit, you're laughing. I laugh because it's like, dude, are you serious? You're fucking serious. Yeah, man, you know, I get some people in the door, you know. And I really make world a better place. He's not going to never accomplish shit in his fucking life. Ask me how I know that. So, when you're talking about this shit with Dyer, bring it to the fucking real world, Iram. And then sandwich that shit together with what you know. And you got her made. It's a good old shit sandwich. A shit sandwich that explains what you were shooting for. How does it work in the real world? How does it work out here? Right? And then, there's Dyer. Just magically in the right place. Doing what very specific people want done. You're not no solo operator. He ain't smart enough to be a solo operator. That's what I always liked about that. Oh, Alex Jones, you know, he's he's a solo guy. For, yeah, like Jeff Rince, huh? <laughs> How dumb do you think I am? Not you, I just mean in general. Because they, my guys are going to sit in these comments. Some of them... Uh, and they're going to say shit like, I don't know, man. I just come on the internet to see the shit show now. Everybody in the world knows these people are fucking assets of someone. I mean, they, the get Russian government sets up, I can't remember the fucking report. Somebody will remember for me, I'm sure. But the, 
deep report on how much they dump into fucking internet operations like we do, like America does. And I was like, well, I don't even know why America even tries when you got Russia today right there in fucking D.C. Who the fuck allows a, a foreign government to broadcast on your fucking soul? Propaganda, no less. Unless the point of Russia today was a globalist endeavor with Russia to keep their mob in operation in New York, Miami, and parts of California. Oh, well, that makes more sense. I wonder if it's a money laundering operation for some guys. Makes more sense with Trump, don't it? The only thing that doesn't surprise me you don't have, is you don't see a picture of Jay Dyer with Trump. That would be, like, obvious. He's probably got one. <laughs> Every crooked motherfucker in the world's got a picture with Trump. Anyway, point was, uh, I get what you're saying on Dyer with the theology and stuff. I'm not interested in Dyer. Dyer's a fucking punk. He's never going to tell you the truth about anything. Uh, so... If I was you, I'd just keep with the educational aspects. That's what I'm interested in. I don't know what you're interested in. I already know what Dyer is. I already know what these guys are. We already did that. We already did that a whole bunch over the years. So, educate me about shit I don't know, not about stuff I do know. And you educated me on Dean Arnold, technically Pearl off. And the background on those, uh, you know, personally, I guess is what you do, as much as you could. Feels. But don't ever confuse the word asset with being intelligent. Hmm, go ask the CIA and the NSA. They're going to tell you, no, 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 that's not the same. Go ask the FBI. Hey, man, does asset equal intelligent? No, they're just a paid stooge. Uh, we need them to do this or they'll go to jail. <laughs> That's all it is to that shit. Ooh. Let's say nobody liked Iron because he's like, fuck this shit. That's wrong. You know, I'll bring the power of the government, the Department of Justice down. And on so and so, just some random dude. And then you go, you go appear on Russia today. How long do you think it's before the FBI and CIA or somebody comes and visits you? I can tell you how long it takes them to come visit someone like me <laughs> don't take fucking long I am so kind of weird that Dyer just keeps on rolling like David Duke or is it weird at all not weird at all anyway just don't confuse a very set to analyze that situation there's nothing to it nobody I'm aware of was confused the moment that Dyer showed up in that specific conspiracy area. You know what I'm like? It's like uh, Stefan Molynox. He's just a kook, whack job cult leader. But of this, I can guarantee you, ooh, we got to keep you in operation. Now, the reason I know that is because he crossed conspiracy crew. The same fucking conspiracy crew that Dyer and their, them guys were running with. That's right. That's not cool, dude. That tells you exactly what the fuck Molinux is. But here's the other part. They don't never talk about that, and that's the other reason or other way you know. They're not gonna dis No he's an authority now. The fuck you don't gotta talk about the old days. And look at Molinux. Literally got a kid killed and uh if I remember rightly the Canadian feds were looking at him. And then suddenly, he can cross the United States border. Right? So suddenly, he can cross the United States border with other known assets. Wow, man. <laughs> now, so don't forget. Oh, this was the other part, even though I already said it. Don't forget private contractors. Don't underestimate how many there are. It's not just one guy at Blackwater. You know, Eric Prince. It's not one guy. Eric Prince has got tons of it knows about. And Milo 
from Masad Breitbart hangs out with him, Iram. Do you? Do you just, <laughs> I'm just pointing that out. We're not talking about you going, coming across Eric Prince online and saying, hey man, I'm going to follow questions. And you ask a question or what. That's not the same as Jay Dyer hanging out with Sean Stone and, you know, a Russian oligarch and, you know, at Gaia doing freaking shit and, uh, you know, Oliver Stone's hanging out with Putin. <laughs> it's not the, there's that, but my point was not knocking you. My point was saying, I like your educational videos. Keep doing those. Keep doing those because I don't know about the stuff. And also, whatever the fuck this says. Uh, Uncle Leo and them are talking about this fucking Sabatee and Frankish shit, so it's got to be a smoke screen for something. <laughs> As, you know, where you sit there, you know, and I've got to go ask somebody, and they're like, what? No. I'm not, it's not that they didn't exist. It's like, what a minute, that ain't got nothing to do with a fucking Freemasonry. I know you guys know that gee, that's bullshit, or at least partial bullshit. Well, the Sabatee and Frankist, you know, and da, da, da. No, what? No. Right? It's like next week. Next week on the Illuminati, as the world turns, you know, the days of our Illuminati. <laughs> right. So what the fuck this is, this whole thing is, out here at least. And so, at least I get a kick out of it. It's a 50-50. Most of it's retarded like Owen Benjamin, and then he says something, you know, interesting. And it's like, well, I know where you stole that from, you lazy. You ain't never done it lick of real work in your life and you're going to steal this shit from someone and use it as your own. You know, that's con man shit. That's the whole of Conspiracy Inc. and Trooper Inc. That's all of it. There are exceptions. They're fairly rare, but there are exceptions. All right. So anyway, there you go. Have fun with it. And no, this wasn't a bitch fest at you saying, oh, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. It's not. It's me being me and me telling you, I get it. Yeah, but yeah, I, we've already done the work on this. We already did the labor work on Alex Jones and everybody. Yeah, they're all paid shields. They're assets of foreign governments and sometimes assets of ours. So you don't know who the, what fucking side they're on, what you'll use. So take it easy, peasantry and worker underclass. And also... Iram. Happy New Year, peeps, peepees, <laughs> pepes, adios, pepes.